Let's open the Terror Prime Weapon Locker. something very very special we had a prototype saber from solo's hole so why don't we get right to it this is the padawan saber and as you can see or as you can probably tell from just the size of my hands is an extremely small saber it's very good very child sized um extremely petite very good diameter obviously made out of machined aluminum <coughs> Extremely solid, there's no rattle whatsoever. If we do a couple of size comparisons, we have a regular MHS size hilt right here. We have a Genesis Custom Sabers Ascend right here. You can see the length difference there. And of course, the Ultra Sabers Initiate V3. If I, I, I'm of the opinion that if you took all of this stuff off, you could probably slip one in an MHS hilt. So, <clears throat> extremely small, um, but there's a lot in here. It is fully equipped with a uh, Nigon Electronics Creations Igniter Mini. So it has an incredible array of sound fonts available to you. Um, you can uh, put a blade in here and fire up <clears throat> it's got a very nice uh, snug fit in the emitter um, a regular blade you might have to sand down a little bit <clears throat> but if you are a doer or want to get into it um, that's something that you're probably going to go for so that seems appropriate so, there we go. So that's the sound, that's the uh, brightness there. Um, as you can see, this is just a 24 inch uh, mid-grade here. Fully lit room, all that. So, as you can see, very, very bright, very, very loud. Okay. It handles beautifully. Uh, at the end here, we'll show you some of the combat that we did with it. Now, uh, it's got, of course, all of the features for the Igniter Mini. Blaster deflection, all of that kind of thing. Dual phase on whatever font you want. Um, so, uh, this past week, I put it through its paces, and uh, <laughs> we've uh, done the whole array of destructive tests on it, from dropping it on concrete, uh, straight down from about the uh, waist level, and uh, also holding it on the end like this so that it has an arc. And then of course, just kind of dropping it randomly while doing some spinning <coughs> is uh, some of those things that will obviously happen to your saber, so it's gotta be able to stand up there. <coughs> oh. So uh, this is the resulting damage from that week of abuse. As you can see, there isn't that much to speak of. We uh, just kind of go around here. Let's see, so <clears throat> from bashing it on plastic and, and weights and all of that kind of thing, it still worked perfectly. Um, we also did uh, combat tests where we, we, we hit it um, hard and we put it through spaces through combat and uh, it is still here. It is still in one piece, and it still works perfectly. Now, the one thing that uh, is a bit of a problem is the balance. If you use a blade any longer than a 24 inch, the 24 inch balances just above the emitter, right about there. And for most people holding it, that that that's just about right. If, if 
you guys this. If you go any longer, even with a mid-grade blade, it's going to get kind of tip-heavy, and then this starts to feel very insubstantial. So my only uh, my only complaint, or if you can call it a complaint, suggestion, would be to put a little bit more weight over here in the pommel, and also you might be able to kill two birds with one stone. Is the, the other thing that would happen is that the recharge port would slide kind of out of alignment in this bit right there, and you can see it just a little bit. And it can be nudged back into place, no problem. Um, but uh, it's that would be a good thing to just kind of amend. So, um, other than that, an incredible product. Go check them out in the uh, descriptions. We've got links to their uh, to the website and. Uh, YouTube's. Uh, so uh, check them out and we'll check out some of the fire.